Another bank robbery to report, this one involving a hazmat response. A chemical was released inside that bank during a robbery in West Rogers Park. Dane Placco is live with the breaking details. Yeah, Roseanne, uh, police and FBI are still on the scene here at this Chase Bank at the corner of Granville and Western in Rogers Park. And what makes this bank robbery very unusual is that apparently it involves some sort of a chemical discharge. This apparently happened around uh, 930 this morning. When we arrived, we could see at least two people being treated by the Chicago Fire Department. And at least one of them then put into an ambulance for further treatment at the hospital. The robber apparently came into the bank, did not show a weapon, but passed a note to a teller demanding money. At some point, then, he apparently began spraying a chemical inside the bank, which made uh, people begin to cough and feel ill. The robber then ran out the back of the bank, turned south on Clarendon to Peterson, a couple blocks away, then east on Peterson before he disappeared, according to eyewitnesses. Chicago Fire Department called a level one hazmat, cleared everybody out of the bank. A fire department hazardous incident team responded. So what was the chemical? A fire department official told me that at this point they don't know exactly what was sprayed inside the bank. But apparently they've been able to determine it's no longer dangerous because employees have been allowed back inside the building. While Chicago police were the first to respond, uh, bank robberies are considered a federal crime. So the FBI will be taking control of this investigation. We'll find out probably later today whether there's any surveillance video or pictures that were taken inside the bank of the suspect. The FBI usually turns those around for public release fairly quickly. Live in Rogers Park, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. Okay, Dane, thank you.